Hi, I'm Chris Becker, president of GW Becker Incorporated. Welcome to our production facility located in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. Today I'm going to be conducting a tour of a process crane in production at our facility. It is a 60 ton overhead traveling bridge crane, CMA Class F continuous duty, used in a hot strip mill process. Uh, it also has a 20 ton auxiliary hoist. So right now I'm up on the G1 or drive foot walk or, or catwalk that's used to service the electrical and mechanical equipment of the crane. We have a CMAA A5 drive, so it's a center motor and gearbox with a line shaft driving outboard gearboxes and a floating shaft out to uh, the bridge wheels, drive wheels. So I want to take this opportunity to show you this vertical mounted steel fabricated gearbox. This is vertically and horizontally split. Um, we have full coupling guards here enclosing gear flex couplings both on the input and the output. These are actually fast style mill duty couplings with mechanical seals instead of o-rings. Uh, full inspection cover plates uh, the w steel weldment is fabricated, stress relieved, and machined uh, to our specifications, and it has roller bearings in full bearing cartridges. So again, showing some features of this 250 volt DC unit. Uh, this is the main crane disconnect, a standard safety disconnect switch. Then we go into the manual magnetic disconnect switch along with the motor driven siren. This controls the, the three, excuse me, four primary motions of the crane, the bridge trolley, main and auxiliary hoist. This is a, um, these are new control panels uh, featuring ECNM constant potential contactor control. Um, these ECNM contactors are made by Hubble Industrial Controls. Um, nice mill duty uh, dynamic lowering hoist panel here, complete with um, isolation knife switches and control enclosure lights. Here we go down to, these are the main hoist uh, resistors, fully guarded and racked. We have everything mounted here, if you can see on a um, trough that all the wiring is run underneath the panels. Uh, makes a nice clean installation. This is a distribution panel, uh, 250 volt DC that we're controlling um, various items on the crane including the high bay lights, the air conditioning system. Um, etc. So all the ancillary electrical uh, auxiliary support systems are run through this distribution panel. Crane also has a magnet on the auxiliary hoist. So this is the disconnect switch in the magnet controller for the magnet system. This is a, the auxiliary hoist control panel along with its mating resistor banks. This customer requested reconditioned 600 series mill motors um, to be compatible with all the other uh, mill motors that they had in their facility. So that's what you see here mounted on a um, machined equipment base that was stress relieved. This customer desired um, carburized brake wheels. So these are um, steel carburized wheels in lieu of a ductile, ductile iron product. Uh, and this is an adjustable torque bridge brake for operation via cab control and radio control. So this crane has two modes of operation. This is again is the bridge panel, similar to what we saw in the, in the hoist panel. Uh, all new componentry. Nice clean install. This customer desired a radio control operation in addition to the enclosed cab, which we'll see in a little bit. And what we see here is the receiver 
decoder unit along with the relay interface panel and then this is the transfer switch to switch between cab operation and radio. Accessibility was of paramount importance to the maintenance crew of the customer's um, facility. So they specified stairwell and, and full crossovers at both ends of the bridges along with uh, boarding gates and uh, boarding ladders down to the runway elevation at each corner of the crane. So as we go up this stairwell, we'll go to the top of the bridge elevation, which we have with a uh, full handrail as, as well as a stretch wire lifeline system. Uh, customer also specified two-piece uh, trolley rail clips along with rail pad and full uh, protection, 100% speed uh, protective hydraulic buffers. So what we're showing you here is the inside of this climate controlled cab. Again, the um, double pane mill duty windows are missing. What you see here are the frames with silicone rubber uh, guarding and then the um, tapered mounting wedges that get installed after the um, window pa packs are installed. Um, the outside um, pane of this glass actually has an infrared re uh, reflective coating to reflect the radiant heat of the um, uh, steel down below. So what we have here is the trolley hoist. Uh, this is a main and auxiliary hoist. It again features 600 series mill motors that are reconditioned to match the customer's existing uh, motors in their facility. Uh, we have mill duty ECNM hoist brakes, uh, dual brakes on each um, hoist, one on the back of each motor and then one on the outboard uh, extension of the um, hoist gearbox. Here we are at ground level with the trolley hoist to give you some scale. This is the vertically mounted trolley gearbox. Again, the steel fabrication that's vertically and horizontally split with inspection covers. This is actually a, a three-stage reducer, so it actually uh, has a, a mechanical oil pump here to keep oil flow into the top. Um, access self-closing boarding gate uh, with ladder. Um, also throughout the bridge and trolley, the customer wanted um, the lubrication points piped to easily accessible locations. So we have uh, grease fittings with, with uh, stainless steel piping and braided tubing down to the various grease points that brought to accessible areas. This is a mill duty cable uh, festoon system. This happens to be from Gleason. Uh, mill duty carriers running on a heavy duty I-beam section with uh, rubber buffers, uh, complete with cable organizers and tow cables to take the strain off of the cable. What we see here is the eight wheel equalizing bridge configuration used on this crane. Um, this equalizing pin um, allows this bogey truck to pivot and equalize the loading on these bridge wheels. These are 90 degree MCB uh, bearing cartridge housing heavy spherical roller bearings. So these are the uh, lower block assemblies for this crane. 60 ton main hoist, 20 ton auxiliary. So these are mill duty lower blocks with custom forged hook assemblies uh, featuring hardened uh, wire rope shivs on taper roller bearings. Thanks for taking the time to review this representative project of GW Becker Incorporated. This heavy duty continuous service project is used in the primary steel industry under mill duty environment. In addition, we can provide various other pieces of equipment, duty classes for your application along with features and benefits specific to your application, desired maintainability and reliability. We also self-perform installation, erection, all the way through turnkey commissioning. We would gladly work with your operation, maintenance, and engineering staff to design a custom unit that would fit your specific desires and applications. Thank you.